Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, students. See you again with Miss Sari in mathematics class in grade 5. And I hope you always keep your health and your happiness. Okay, today we are going to talk about division. And let's remember that in the previous meeting, we have talked about multiplication. Okay, there are some ways to uh, find out the result of division, uh, the, the short one and the long one. And let's talk about the short one first. Okay, formal written method of short division and we use two digit numbers first. Okay, let's see the first example. Okay, this is 48 divided by 2. How can we find the result of this division? First, let's make some like, something like, what is it, house. And please put the main number into the inside of the house. And two as a divider, put into the outside of the uh, house. And then, let's see the first digit here. Four. Okay, let's count how many twos are there in four. Maksudnya apa ini? Empat dibagi dua atau uh, kita butuh berapa kali dua untuk mendapatkan empat. And of course, the result is two because two times two equals four. Okay, and then next, what about the eight? Okay, first, please look at this one. Two times two equals four and we have no... Uh, no number that left of a right tidak ada sisanya okay and then if there is no uh, rest of the what is it the multiplication of two and two so let's go to the next digit eight and then let's count how many twos are there in eight kita butuh berapa banyak dua untuk mendapatkan delapan okay atau dengan kata lain delapan dibagi dua kita hasilkan Four. Yes, because four times two equals eight. And there is no rest of number here. Tidak ada sisa. So, the answer of this division is 24. Okay, it's simple, right? And then next, 76 divided by two. Let's see. First, how many twos are there in seven? Okay, to make seven, we need how many two here? Butuh berapa kali dua untuk mendapatkan tujuh? Okay, let's see. Three. Why? Because when we put 4 here, uh, and then we count 4 times 2 equals 8. So, this is more than 7. So, we don't need it. We need 3. Because 3 times 2 equals 6. Okay, less than 7. And we need it. And then, uh, when we get 6, we have 1 for the rest of the counting here. Ya, karena 3 kali 2 adalah 6, sedangkan di sini ada 7, maka masih ada sisa 1 di sini. Satunya kita letakkan di antaranya untuk kita gabungkan dengan digit berikutnya. Okay, let's put 1 into the 6 and we get 16, right? Okay, and then 16 divided by 2. How many 2s are there in 16? Kita butuh berapa banyak 2 untuk mendapatkan 16? Of course, it is 8. Yeah, because 8 times 2 equals 16. Okay, let's see the next example. 65 divided by 5. Okay, let's go to the first digit. 6 divided by 5. How many 5s that we need to make 6? Of course, we only need 1. And then, uh, how many are left over? Sisanya berapa nih? Karena kita hanya mendapatkan 5 ya. 1 times 5 equals 5. So, uh, the rest of the counting is 1. And then, let's put 1 into the 5. Kita gabungkan di sini. And then it will become 15. Now, let's count. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Okay, so the result is 13. Okay, let's see the next. What about this one? 90 divided by 5. Let's go to count 9 divided by 5. It will get 1. Because 1 times 5 equals 5. And we get uh, 4 as a... Uh, Rest sebagai sisanya adalah 4 karena 1 kali 5 hanya 5 sisanya adalah 4 diperoleh dari 9 dikurangi 5 and then now we we have 40 40 divided by 5 equals 8 yes okay I think this is clear for you and then next what about 36 divided by 3 let's go to the first digit 3 divided by 3 equals 1 okay and then 
What about the rest? Or how many are left over? No one. Okay, and then let's go to the next digit. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Yeah. Okay, so the result is 12. Okay, now next, let's what about... try to count the three digit numbers. Well, 670 divided by 5. Let's see the first digit. This is 6. And then let's count how many 5s are there in 6. Yes, only 1. 1 times 5 equals 5 and then we get 1 for the rest. Okay, this is 17. 17 divided by 5 equals 3, right? Because 3 times 5 equals 15. And we get 2 as the rest. And then let's count 20 here. 20 divided by 5 equals 4, right? Yeah. Okay, so the result is 134. Okay. Okay, now what if we use the long way division? And let's see for the example. Okay, now let's complete the following calculation. 2,544 divided by 4. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's make this method to write the addition. Okay, let's see first. Let's start by dividing 25 by 4 as 2 is not divisible by 4. Okay, kita mulai membaginya dari bilangan 25 ini ya. Karena kalau kita mau menggunakan 2 langsung, ini tidak bisa. 2 dibagi 4 kan kurang ya. Jadi kita gunakan langsung 25 di sini. Then, 25. Okay, tidak bisa kita bagi dengan 4. Okay, you can divide 25 exactly by 4. But you can divide 24 by 4. Okay, how many 4s are there in 24? Jadi di sini 25 tidak bisa pas dibagi 4 ya. Bisanya 24. Oke, okay, karena bilangan perkalian 4 atau faktor dari 24 adalah 4. So, let's count how many 4s are there in 24. Butuh berapa kali 4 untuk mendapatkan 24? Yes, of course 6. Because 6 times 4 equals 24. Oke, okay, please write down 24 here under the 25 and then let's subtract of two numbers kita kurangkan 25 dengan 24 ini and then the result is one right okay and then now drop four into beside of one kita letakkan empat di sampingnya si angka satu sisa tadi and then let's start to count how many fours are there in 14 Oke, okay. kalau 14 dibagi 4 atau kita butuh berapa kali 4 untuk mendapatkan 14, untuk mendapatkan 14. Oke, okay. karena tidak bisa tepat membaginya, so we use the mirrors yang terdekat. Oke, okay. yang terdekat adalah 3, right? Oke, okay. and then let's multiply 3 by 4, 3 kali 4, it is 12, right? And then let's start to subtract 14 by 12, 14 dibagi, dikurangi 12. And then the result is 2, right? And then let's drop 4 here beside of 2. Yeah, okay. And then next, let's count 24 divided by 4. Of course, the result is 6, right? Yeah. Okay, after that, let's subtract 24 and 24. So sorry. And this is the final answer because we will get 0 here. Okay, di sini hasilnya 0 kan 24 dikurangi 24 maka hasilnya adalah 0 and then the result of the division is 636 okay what do you think now let's see the next example let's complete the following calculation this is 2125 divided by 5 let's start to count using this uh, pattern okay let's start by dividing 21 by 5 as 2 is not divisible by 5 karena 2 tidak bisa dibagi dengan 5 uh, karena kurang atau lebih sedikit dari pembaginya maka kita gunakan langsung 2 digit this is 21 let's count 21 divided by 5 how many 5s are there in 21 butuh berapa kali 5 untuk mendapatkan 21 atau paling tidak uh, mendekati Oke, okay. and we get 4 and then let's count 4 times 5 equals 20, right? And then put here and let's subtract 21 by 20. Sekarang kita kurangkan. And the result is 1. And then let's drop 2. Jatuhkan 2. Letakkan di sampingnya angka 1 di sini. And then let's count. 12 divided by 5. Kita bagi dengan 5. 
berapa yang paling mendekati. Yes, we need two. Oke, okay, and then let's count to times five equals ten here. Nah, dua dikali lima hasilnya sepuluh. And then let's subtract twelve by ten. And it's equal to. And the last one, let's uh, drop the five beside the two here. And then we get twenty-five. And let's count twenty-five divided by five. And we get five. Yeah, because five times five equals zero. And we have the final answer for hundred and twenty-five. Empat ratus dua puluh lima hasilnya. Okay, next let's see the last example. Four thousand seven hundred and twelve divided by eight. Let's go. Yeah, let's start by dividing forty-seven because four is not divisible by eight. Tidak karena empat tidak bisa dibagi dengan delapan, maka langsung kita bagi empat puluh tujuhnya. Empat puluh tujuh dibagi delapan. Okay, and the nearest result is five. Okay, and the next five times eight equals forty. And let's subtract. Okay, we get seven. And then let's drop down one here beside seven. And we have seventy-one. Please divide it by eight. And we get eight because eight times eight equals sixty-four. And then let's subtract seventy-one and sixty-four. And the result is seven. And then let's drop two here for the last step. Yeah, seventy-two divided by eight equals nine. Okay, because nine times eight equals seventy-two. Okay, let's see the next four thousand and five divided by nine. Let's go to divide forty by nine. Yeah, four because four times nine equals thirty-six, and then subtract it, and we get four, and drop zero, and then we get forty, and divided by nine we get four. And then four times nine equals thirty-six, and let's subtract it. It will become four, and then please drop down five. Yeah, and we get forty-five. Forty-five divided by nine, we get five here. And then let's multiply five by nine. Yeah, the result is forty-nine. Okay, okay, that's all, class. And I hope you understand what I have explained to you. And if you find something difficult or or you have some question to me, please call me and you may see me. Okay, thank you for watching and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Moms and Dads sedang mencari sekolah yang nyaman dan berkualitas untuk si kecil? Hari ini telah dibuka penerimaan siswa baru Playgroup dan TK Terpadu Budi Mulia 2 Seturan. Dilengkapi dengan fasilitas yang lengkap, playground luas berstandar Eropa, kolam renang, ruang kelas yang nyaman dan luas, ditambah dengan kurikulum bilingual Islamic Montessori yang dikemas menjadi kurikulum Budi Mulia 2, menjadikan belajar tetap menyenangkan. Sesuai moto kami, bersekolah dengan senang dan senang di sekolah.